All right, I have everything off your desk except for a pencil, a piece of paper, a calculator, maybe an eraser on the pencil would be a good idea um, if you make mistakes. Make sure your calculator is in degree mode. It'd be a real bummer if it weren't. So it should say DEG at the top. Um, for Kendall's benefit, the others of you, you're so used to checking that you should be good. Well, let's go ahead and pray, and I will hand out the exams to you. Lord God, I thank you so much for these seniors. Lord, thank you for their hard work and their diligence throughout this first quarter. Lord, as they take this exam, I pray that you would help them to remember the things that they've studied, the things that they've learned. I pray that you'd help them to work carefully and accurately on the math. And uh, Lord, help them not to make careless mistakes. I pray this would be their best work. I pray it would be a good reflection of what they've learned this quarter and how hard they've worked. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, when you get your exam, you put your first and last name in the name spot and today's date in the date spot. First and last name in the name spot. Today's date, 10 5 22. It is Albert Pujols Day in St. Louis. He's also retiring and one of the greats. <laughs> he wore number five. Yachty wore number four. So, <clears throat> anyway, happy Albert Pujols Day to you. Or you could just put 10 5 22 in the date spot. Well, let's take a look at the test together. Uh, first page, multiple guess. Uh, choose the or multiple choice. Choose the letter of the best answer. Um, page two, more multiple choice. You're welcome. Page three, more multiple choice. Merry Christmas. Page four, all good things must come to an end. Okay, so <laughs> do you have a completion section there? Write the word or phrase that would best complete each statement. There was 43 to 45 mini essays that could be answered in a single sentence or two sentences. Um, so don't, don't go too long. If you want to write a book, do that on blank paper. But there's room for one to two sentences for each of those answers. And page five is your problem solving. Again, as needed, if you need to work these on a separate paper, do so. If you want to write your formulas across the top of the page right now, that wouldn't be a bad idea. That way when you get there, you uh, don't like out. All right, so uh, anyway, problem solving, work those. Make sure you use proper sig figs, proper units. If you want to write that reminder at the top to go back and double check afterward. Did I do proper sig figs? Did I use proper units? You might want to double check those things as well. All right. Well, I said you have 45 minutes. You may begin. I'll get started. 